Ask Reddit. Ask Reddit. Redditors with roommates, what are some of the strangest things your roommate has done? Former roommate of mine. He used to come back late from work, then proceeds to occupy the kitchen, takes out a bottle of vodka from the freezer, downs a couple of shots, then he puts on his running shoes, goes for jog for about an hour, comes back to down more shots in the kitchen. He also used to have this girlfriend who looked like a 25 year old retired librarian. The type of school teacher that seems to have been born in the wrong decade by accident. Really mousy and shy. She was even too shy to greet me when I ran into her in the apartment. But as soon as they closed the door to his room behind them, they had freakishly loud monkey sex. It sounded like two fully grown gorillas throwing themselves at each other. Full on OWWWWW. App. YAAAAH. It was completely absurd. One time they were having a go at each other early Saturday morning, so my alarm clock was basically a woman's sex shrieks. One time I also found a rotting pineapple in the kitchen while cleaning. I don't know how, or why. While my actual roommate was abroad for a semester his brother lived with me. Something that I noticed, was that he bought a lot of butter. A lot. We always had around 3, 4 pieces in the fridge. And it was not always the same few pieces, but he always bought new ones. One time I asked him what he did with so much butter. He denied that it was his, which is super strange. Because we are the only two people living there and none of my friends brought the butter and he never had friends over. When he moved out the butter disappeared too. To this day I don't know WTF he needed that for, and I think I don't even wanna know. Lived with a 48 year old, I think somewhat autistic, manchild. The type who would make food, then keep the dishes in his bedroom, take him out once every 4 to 5 days, unless if I had to go in, when he was out, to get my dishes back, so I could eat too. One day I noticed one of my big plates was missing for a few weeks. He went out for the weekend, I went looking for my stuff. Found one of them buried in his dresser, under a pile of dirty clothes and DVDs, with a used condom semi-fused to it. This was not the last time he did disgusting shit like that, but it was certainly one of the last times. I had a rumor that likely thought he was literally the second coming of Christ. He only ate foods described in the Old Testament, so lots of dates and olives. The week leading up to Easter he took down all of the art in the house and put it in my room because he felt it was a form of following a false prophet. He then burned a bonfire in the backyard where he threw in dolls or whatever. Lots of melted plastic on my lawn. He filled his bathtub with water and god knows what else, but it stunk and looked disgusting. I still don't know what he was doing with the tub. Finally, on Good Friday I saw him walking around the neighborhood wearing all white robes with a crown of thorns around his head. He also had long brown hair. I kicked his ass out. Oh man. Let's see. He got in a fight with a homeless lady and lost, drank his own piss, got arrested after trying to use an invisible shield to move traffic out of the way. He was on foot in the middle of the street and drank a smoothie which ingredients consisted of milk, his own blood, and his own semen. Dude lost his mind completely, and I ended up having to get a restraining order against him 2018 was a hell of a year. Not so much weird as annoying, one of my housemates in college was a heavy drinker, which in itself wasn't really an issue to the rest of us, because he wasn't really loud or belligerent about it. The issue, though, was that he pissed himself pretty frequently, whenever he was really trashed, which is usually the condition he drank himself to. It got so bad that, whenever he started drinking, we would all start encouraging, sometimes outright demanding, that he go to his own room, before he passed out, and pissed himself on one of the couches, or someone else's bed. He had a habit, if we were all hanging out of just getting up, and wandering into someone else's room, and passing out in their bed. My gay roommate's boyfriend had a creepy creepy clown mask, that he left at our place. One night I fell asleep early, he came into my room wearing the mask, and wiggled my toe, until I woke up. Damn. I lived with three of the worst girls I've ever met, when I was in college. 
I signed a year long lease with them, and lasted 2 months, before I noped out, and found some poor soul, to take over my lease. They ignored me 98% of the time, except for when they ate my food in the fridge before going downtown, which they did every week Thursday Sunday, and when they locked themselves out, which happened Thursday Sunday coming home from the bar. Also when they stood outside my door, and loudly made fun of me, or mocked my appearance. So I'm a pretty chill person, I would hang out with other friends and just come home to sleep. Then another friend accidentally let it slip to one of the girls, that I'm allergic to avocado. Now, it's just when I eat it, I can be around avocado with no adverse effects. The next day I open the fridge, and they've cut all their avocados in half, and piled them on and around my food in the fridge. They didn't know, that I only get sick, when I eat avocado, so they just went, and wasted time and money, in the hopes of what? Poisoning me? Making me sick? Giving me an allergic reaction? Come on. It's pretty mild in terms of terrible rumored stories, but it was just the tip of the iceberg. I detest the word beach, but I would use it to describe every one of those stupid girls. Unplugged our microwave, because he didn't want the radiation leaking into the air. Tried to tell him, that our microwave isn't nuclear, and he just grinned and unplugged it again that night. Had a roommate during school. He was a hyper masculine frat boy type. Very loud and obnoxious and kind of a bully in that way. One day I come home late from school and find all the lights off and approximately 30 individual candles lighting the darkened living room. He is sitting there wearing only a robe, and holding a glass of red wine, which he never drank, because men drink beer or something. I ask him what's up, kind of laughing and thinking a girl is coming over, and he looks at me, like I'm an idiot and goes dude, the bachelor starts tonight. Get your robe. I did not know this was a thing. I don't currently have roommates, but back in college I had a roommate bang us from keeping a trash can in the kitchen. We'd had a rather juicy round of trash so a little dripped from the bag on carpet going from the kitchen to the dumpster, you had to walk through the living room. Weird layout. Because his dad owned the townhouse we lived in he freaked and insisted we keep the trash can on the back porch, again, across the living room. He hadn't factored in the fact that his two other roommates actually cooked things from scratch. After two weeks of a disgusting string of mess forming on the carpet and a steam cleaner rental he calmed the fuck down and put the trash can back in the kitchen. I think it was the paper towels with sopped up blood, from butchery, not a wound, that finally did it. This happened when I was in college. I roomed with a guy who was awkward af. Chinese guy polite but awkward. He wanted me to help him learn English. That's cool, I thought. I tried really tried to read him the customs. He never got it, no problem. He would get milk cartons and leave them on the heater, okay whatever, he would order a pizza, eat one piece and scurry the rest under the bed for a week, gross. Caught him standing over me while I slept, we talked, last straw was hearing him masturbate, I mean, he wasn't even trying to conceal it, he was straight up abusing himself, that was it. He had to go and he did. Dorm room had two bedrooms with two people sharing each bedroom and a personal common area and bathroom college roommate in the other bedroom smelled like death. He had some weight issues, smoked cigarettes, and never seemed to shower. The roommate in my bedroom literally saw him with shit on the back of his pants one day, as he sat all over the common area couches. The smell was so bad, that we were unable to use the common area, and literally held our breaths from the bedroom to the hallway. We always had to keep our bedroom door closed, and douse it with Febreze every couple days or so. It was hell. I went to school in a town, where the water has kind of a funky taste. We used one of those Brita water pitchers, that you put water in the top and it drops filtered water into the pitcher at the bottom. Well, one of our roommates all semester had been removing the filter, and pouring the tap water into the bottom of the pitcher, before placing the filter back on top. If you're unaware, as my roommate was, this defeats the entire purpose of the filter. I used to live with two guys, one of which was my boyfriend at the time. The other dude never flushed toilet paper down the toilet. He always would leave this little growing tower of folded used toilet paper in the trash can. One time, the dog got into it. I thought I was going to die before the guy got home, so I could make him clean up his own shit smeared toilet paper. My room had played without notice on full blast the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. He ran through the house yelling. 
come along lad as the sea calls for us. He wouldn't reply to us, unless we referred to him as Captain Jack Sparrow. I found out later that day he binged the franchise the night before. I didn't mind too much I love that song, and was happy to hear it lol. College girlfriend's roommate's boyfriend, Irk, was a little odd, but okay when we first met him. Then in the middle of a party, when he was really drunk, he very matter of factly stripped naked, carefully moved everything from the kitchen sink cabinet, and arranged it on the floor, crawled in and pulled the door closed. We mentioned this to his girlfriend, she shrugged and said, yeah, he does that when he's wasted. Not long after we were at a party, when it was getting late girlfriend is wandering around party asking, where is boyfriend? Someone points out his clothes and shoes are stacked by the front door, and that he said he was walking home. Naked. In February. In Pennsylvania. Six inches of fresh snow outside. It was maybe 20 Fahrenheit and home was almost two miles away. 